हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम अभिषेक इनामदार फ्रॉम की फ्रेम्स ऑनलाइन टुडे सब्जेक्ट इज नॉट ऑन एनी टॉपिक बेसिकली आई वॉज डूइंग सम आर एन डी वर्क एंड इन दैट आर एन डी वर्क आई हैव फाउंड समथिंग वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग सो लेट्स सी वॉट इज दैट दिस इज वॉट आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू टूडे दिस इज अ सिंपल स्पीयर एंड आई हैव दिस टेन टैकल्स कमिंग फ्रॉम द स्पीयर दैट इज विद एक्सट्रूड अलॉन्ग विद स्प्लाइन and uh, after that uh, i have added the flex modifier on it and we have got some very nice and cool interesting effect so i'm very excited to share this knowledge with you and uh, so let's get started with the first lesson i'll just take one spear it's a simple spear and i'll come with the segment say 12 like this i'll go in shapes and i'll take the line maybe like this so we will extrude like this this way It's fine. And now, what I want is, I want this spline should be here, 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 all over, all over here. So, so the thing is, this is rotating uh, on his axis, and because of the uh, uh, center point is here, so we want center point should align on this spear. So what I'll do is. it's very simple i go to hierarchy and i'll say affect pivot point and i'll say align to this object and i'll say z axis and say pivot to pivot i'll say okay and it's done so now what happen so when i'll rotate when i'll rotate this guy i'll just lock it and see this is what we want so it's perfectly aligned now i'll just make copy of it i'll say shift rotate 1 shift rotate 2 this and like this fine cool slide the middle of the face fine it's absolutely fine it seems some um, some kind of uh, i don't know some kind of octopus kind of design uh or you can tell me if you if you uh know some kind of uh, uh, shapes what i am making i really i really don't know what what the shape it is so fine i'll just say convert to variable poly and i'll take a polygon and i'll select this polygon and here it is uh, extrude along the spline it's a very good tool i'll go in settings and this is the segments uh, right now uh, we will keep as it is and say i'll say pick spline and the spline should be the line which is aligned to that box or polygon i'll say this one and this is what we want this is the segments and this is the taper amount slightly come down with this the sharp edge it's look very good just increase the segments say 15 it's good so now i'll say okay 
I want it. So same thing I'll I'll repeat over here. And again I will select this one and let's say extrude along with spline. This is what happens. Now this is take the previous settings. Never mind. I'll take choose spline and say click. It's okay now. And say okay. Done. So I'll pause my video because I don't want to waste just to see the same thing again and again. Um, so this is what I have done second time. The same thing I will uh, repeat and all those things. So I'll just meet you after this I have done. So I'll just pause my video. So this is done and this is what I got from that design. It's look very good. Uh, it's nice. And I'll just add turbo smooth to see how it looks. Wow, just awesome. Cool. If I, we will scale this, we will get this kind of uh, design. It's looking very good. So, and if you rotate with the copy, I'll press shift and say rotate again it's giving so good uh, very different kind of uh, a table or or anything if you want to say um, it's it's just my fluke uh, i have like the design i have started the uh, thing so this is what uh, just undo it just undo this this is what the the shape it is just to make more interesting on this shape i'll just delete the turbo smooth and i'll say segments what i'll do is now it should look like alien because something like it's seeing like that i'll just go to extrude and i'll say local normal it's absolutely warm, uh, nothing you have to follow the same because i don't know what right now i'm doing it just i'm just improving myself um, what should look good that's it so it's on all experimental all basis it just say okay plus so okay now what will happen we'll get a nice Second turbo smooth. Wow. Gives me so good effect. And one more thing we can also do is that if we add a flex modifier, it will um, give the nice movement to it. For that, what we have to do is we just add uh, movement to it. So I'll just say auto key on. Mm. Auto key on, I'll say 100 and I'll say rotate it. Yeah, it's okay. Like this. So, how many rotation is this? I'll undo it just want say 180 is fine 183 just play fine so it will show some movement on it and i'll just stop this turbo smooth say flex and flex i'll say select this one and create a soft body and what will happen is I'll just increase the flex amount also I'll go to 3 and just check what happens just say play nothing happens so I have to increase the amount now way I'll say 20 
flex will be 5 now this has got this nice lagging see if you see it's slightly it's now lagging it's very cool effect and uh, say stretch say 8 say ok just get rid of this I'll say ok now I'll just play it how it plays give the nice lag to the moment still we want more say 10 25 15 is fine so it looks nice lag on the tails of this so just increase slightly so it will have that moment will have this cool stop and start effect so I really liked this effect when I uh, was experimenting on this thing so I thought uh, to show you guys um, you will enjoy a nice nice experiment so 20 is much more good fluffy feeling of this tentacles without any uh, animation or with the, without anything so I'll just on this turbo smooth say fine I'll say it's, looks good so this is what uh, the intention for this tutorial so if you liked my tutorial guys do subscribe my channel that is keyframes online and if you want some kind of tutorial like if you uh, what you want to see uh, on next part of this tutorial do let me know so I'll make tutorial for you so, and thanks for watching my tutorial I'll I'll meet you in next part in next good tutorial thank you